Hi, and welcome to Let's Talk. And today we're talking about why are African men running away from marriage? Our forefathers and grandparents had 20, 30 wives, fathered close to 60, 70 children. And for us now, 2024, it's difficult to find an African man, an average African man, who just has to marry one wife is a bit of an issue. So why is, why, why is it so? What's really going on? Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and also comment on this topic. We'd like to hear from you. And don't forget also to press the notification button so that we can actually notify you once a new story comes up. So back to the discussion. Why are African men running from marriage? Why African men don't want to get married? Um, my two cents on this are multifaceted, but I will just be simple. I think you must understand the responsibility that is placed on that is placed on today's modern man, um, and the today's world. If money is not really factored in seriously, marriages easily collapse, and so the man understands the role and the burden on him, and so he's all out to at least secure him, secure himself. Once he's secure, he can be able to secure a family. Uh, so don't really blame the African man understand that the economic realities of today is quite different from our parents' generation. That is why the African man is still looking as if he's not ready, but he wants to. Thank you. A lot of African men run away from marriages these days because of the pressure. They are pressured to get married to maybe the person they don't like. Even if it's the woman they like, the in-laws will put them under intense pressure to do so many things some marriage lists are like a royal scroll some of them they are pressured to propose at a very fancy place for the woman to impress friends and family who later would not even care about what's going on with the both of you some are pressured to do societal wedding and after the societal wedding, they are still paying debts. They run into debt before getting married. They are still in debt while they are married. So it's a whole lot of things going on with African men. And that's some of the reasons why they don't get married. Some young African men are already enjoying what married African young men are enjoying. Um, so you see that they have their uh, female friends, you know, they have relationships and all that, and they have the care, a, <laughs> the kind of care a married man should get, you know, women come around, cook, do all sort of things, you know, together, just, you know, sharing, enjoying that, what a married man should enjoy, you know. The reason why I was saying, most Nigerian men don't like uh, don't want to get married again is because they are scared. Before now, marriage that we saw our parents go through or live through was sweet, where the wife will obey and um, be submissive to her husband, and then just be a stay at home wife. But now, equal gender has taken place. Woman will want to stand and say, You make your money, I make my money, why would I be submissive to you? So, I spoke to a couple of men um, and they were able to give me a bit of feedback. They wanted to remain anonymous concerning this topic. And top on the list is a lot of them are saying there's so much pressure as an African man nowadays to perform. What do they mean by perform? Um, who are you? Your citizenship? Are you rich? Are you famous? How many people do you have on your Instagram handle? Uh, what do you do for a living? Who are your parents? Where do you stay? It's as though so many things are expected uh, from the average African man. It's not like it used to be. Um, years back where you have to kill a lion, that is some tribes, or where you have to do some things uh, in, the, in the forest and then that earns you the title of being a man. So now it's a different ball game. A lot of them will tell you that you meet a lady and the first thing she wants to do is profile you and ask you this question. So she'll know whether you belong to her level, to her class. If you don't belong to her class, uh -uh, it's not going to work before you even open your mouth and say, can I? So that is 
one thing that a lot of men are complaining about the pressure the pressure is big time on them um are you good looking are you photogenic um do you have a foreign passport apart from your country's passport <laughs> so i'm telling you like the list is like you're going for a job and they ask you so many questions so the men are complaining the men are complaining about this thing big time and uh, but apart from that top of the list concerning um, why they don't want to get married is number one, finance. Yes, finance, finance, finance. The men who tell you that, look, it's it's the, the money issue is real. I mean, the, the money struggle is real. And um, they can't get into something that they can't afford, which makes a lot of sense. Why get into something you know you can't afford? Now, marriage nowadays is not as easy as it used to be in the 70s, 60s, and the 80s. Uh, when you're looking at the wedding ceremony itself, you need to have a lot of money to do the wedding ceremony. In, in Nigeria, for instance, you're looking at close to 10, 20 million naira for you to spend on the wedding. That is the introduction, the traditional, and the white wedding or the church wedding. You should hold close to 10, 15, 20 million. Oftentimes, we find a lot of ladies who want you to do an average. So to, to them, the average is like 10, 20 million naira for you to spend. So it's like a guy having to, he comes out of school, he works for a while, he saves up money for the wedding ceremony and his whole savings goes into the wedding ceremony. And not a lot of men are really ready to do that right nowadays. So it's, it's not working for them. The finance is a big issue. Getting a distant accommodation is something else. Getting a distant car is something else. You name it, feeding. So a lot of men will just tell you that, look, this, this thing is, is a project I'm not too keen to, to get into right now. Financially, I can't do it. You can't force me into it. So if, if you happen to meet a guy, some guys, 40, 45 year old guys, they've never been married and they're not too keen about getting married. So finance is one of the major problems that they complain about. Now, the next thing is the emotional commitment. <laughs> It takes a man to get married. And so the question we probably ask is, how many men are really men in terms of the ability to control their emotions and to be able to live with a woman? It's not as though women are, you know, troublesome, but you know, it, it, it needs some readjustments when you want to live with a lady. You need to get to the point where you have to be more mature. You have to be able to handle things easily and not just get upset necessarily you're no more a boy when you get married you don't you can't be a boy any, any, any longer so i don't think a lot of men have that tenacity that emotional stability to get into it some will tell you oh, man i'm still young i'm still somehow does give me a couple of years time maybe 10 years the guy talking is around 30 30 45 years and he's telling you give me 10 years to get married and 10 years would be like 45 well but that's what he's complaining about the emotional commitment is not there. You need to take care of a child, possibly take care of the in-laws and the rest of them. So it doesn't really go well with a lot of men. They tell you, a man, the emotional commitment, I'm not ready for that. I just want to take life easy, you know, as it is. Well, one of the major problems is that for Africa, we have a kind of communal system of living where you get married, your, your wife's um, family could, two or three siblings could come and stay with you. Um, your her relatives, her, her cousin, niece can come and stay with you. Her grand, her grandmom, her mom could come to stay with you. So you have that community kind of lifestyle. And the question is, how many men can? I think men are beginning to change in their the way they look at life. Anything that's going to give you stress, just stay away from it. They don't want that stress. So how many men are ready to? You move into a home and you have two, three people a cousin, her, her nephew, her niece coming to stay with you. You need to feed them. You need to be there, responsible to them emotionally. It's tough. Now, when you go on social media, you hear a lot of stories about paternity tests that ended up really ugly. For some people, it's um, after 20 years of marriage, now realize that they don't have any children from the, from the woman. The children are from some guy outside. Um, I, I, I saw a very disturbing one. Um, the man, after 51 years of getting married, and having kids without realize that the kids are not his. I mean, he's actually a grandfather. The grandkids are not his. And I really fell for the man. So a lot of men too are a bit careful about this issue of, you know, can I really trust this woman? Um, paternity issues, um, you know. So it's, it's, it's not as though they don't see the importance of getting married, but that thing really haunts them. They watch it on, on social media, I'm like, my goodness, this is a, it's a horrible world. This woman, this woman, this woman. So, but it's not really. Women don't do that alone. Um, women don't do it alone. They, they, men also do it. They have kids outside, 
and the woman doesn't know that this guy has uh, three, four children outside until one day he, he dies and they read the will and they start calling some strange names and uh, two or three women show up as well. So it happens on both ends. But for men, I think that paternity thing is, is a bit dicey for them. Um, you might be listening to me and you say, well, Dennis, who cares? I mean, life is a big risk. If you want to go for it, go for it. Which I actually agree with you. Well, this hasn't stopped the population of Africa from expanding. The population is still expanding. And so the question to ask is, what is causing it? The men don't want to get married, so how are they having population expansion? Well, some men, some African men have preferred to do uh, what we call the baby mamas. That, that is what you see in America and all that. The baby mamas, where you have a man will have two, three women outside that will give birth to his children. And so, you know, sort of, to him, he doesn't, he doesn't want the commitment of having a home, having a woman in that house, having children in that house. So he prefers to just have the kids outside. This is happening right now in Africa. A lot of men are telling, telling me that look, they don't want to have, they don't want to get married, but they don't want to have having baby mamas and taking care of them. They stay in the house, he stays on his own, and he's fine with it. Well, that's your business. If you want to do that, that's really left to you. But I want to hear from you guys out there. What do you think of the whole story of why African men are running away from marriage? Uh, from your own end, from your own part of Africa, I'd like to hear from you as well. From your own part, and maybe from, if, you're, if you're watching this, Europe, America, what do you think is happening to the African men? Is it what is happening in Europe at the moment? Like, people don't want to get married or have kids as such in Europe. Is this what's going to happen to Africa in the end? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how it goes. Well, thank you so much for being a part of today's interesting topic. Please comment. We would we'll like to hear from you. And also like and subscribe to our channel. Press the notification button as well. I'll see you next time. Take care.